Okay, well, what we got here is we got some seriously cloudy headlights. Hardly see at night. So, picked up a, a 3M headlight restoration system, mm -hmm. which includes some rubbing compound, polishing agent when you get to that point. Comes with this attachment here for putting on the sandpaper and the different attachment. This little spongy thing with some Velcro. Yeah. Now I've used one of these before. This is kind of a one use thing. You might get, I got two cars out of the last one before it kind of fell apart. Okay, and then in the kit here, Besides those things, you got your polishing pad. You have some super fine 800 grit. That super fine sandpaper for getting out the squirrels. You got three, what is this, 500 grit? Is this are the same? Yeah, 500 grit sandpapers. Uh, 500 grit, 500 grit. Uh, this one you can't read. And this is like a polishing. This is a super, super duper duper. So. Super fine or super coarse? Super fine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Super duper. And the one that I'm starting off with here is a 500. I guess that's probably the coarsest the kit comes with. Okay. Now you can take, depending on how bad your headlights are, you can take some sandpaper. Did you say that this head here is one use? No. One car. Oh, okay. Maybe two cars before the glue starts to let go at oh, the foam okay. and it, okay. you know, it falls apart. So then you need a drill. Personally, I like to use a right angle drill because it's easier to hold for when you're up mm. against the headlight yeah. and variable speed because you don't want to go too fast. You go too fast, you can melt your way through their plastic headlights. That's a good tip. So, put your attachment in. You should go, you should get yourself some Windex or something and pre-wash your headlights. All right, we got cloudy headlights on our car for the second time. It's a 1999. So we got the 3M headlight restoration kit. With a 3M restoration kit, you need to supply your own drill, preferably at variable speed. I prefer a right angle because it's easier to work with, so I use a right angle instead of a standard shaped drill. Then you need Windex and paper towels, or you can just use water and a rag because you want to clean off the outside surface of whatever grime and grip that there is. You have different size sandpapers that come in the kit all the way down to a polishing cloth. It starts off with I think like a 500 grit as a, and goes from there. And let's see what else. Rubbing Pol compound. Rubbing compound. You need that after, that's after the sanding when you're getting into your polishing mode. It has a polishing, a buffing cloth or sponge and so that's basically about it sometimes i have a little bit of extra sandpaper because of the shapes of headlights bumps and things that they have it's not always easy to get in with a sponge okay. attachment that fits on your drill so get off a little of the road grime I've definitely seen headlights worse than this since I got, look at all that road grime that already came off. Ick. But you can see as it dries, it, it's just hotty and right back up again. It's getting to where you can't see at night. 
I, I know the car companies found it easier to use plastic that way they could mold and get the shapes for the vehicles and everything but I think that they should have made these lenses where they snap off and on so they can be replaced and have them priced at a an affordable rate I mean the old glass headlights were only like five dollars a bulb and they were great they never got cloudy because they were glass but if they were to make this out of glass, it would cost an arm and a leg. Then if somebody broke it, it would probably be two, they'd charge $2,000. So, yeah, it's just the way things are. Cars are made of plastic now and cost more money than when they were made of steel. And now they're even going to aluminum like beer cans. Yeah. Alrighty, so. Let's adjust our drill. That's way too fast. That's good. Okay, I forgot to tell you, you can see we have rock chips and everything in this and there's a good space. I'm not going to worry about getting that close with the headlights because this isn't a show vehicle. But for safety, you should probably take some blue painter's tape and run it around your headlights so you don't hit your body and rub your paint off. What is that? I got using my, using my paper towel from washing them and just a little bit of water so I can see how we're doing it. Removing the cloudy, cloudiness and deep scratches. Headlights aren't as bad as they were before, the first time I did them, that's for sure. Okay, so we'll change. The 500. Uh, yeah, now we're going to go to an 800. The bigger the number, the finer it is. Yeah, what it is, is it's the amount of grains mm -hmm. or granules or whatever per square inch. Okay. So. The bigger the number, the smaller they have to be so they can all adhere within the 
square inch. Okay. One thing you'll, when you read the directions, you'll see, do not, you're not applying pressure. You're not trying to burn through your headlights. You're holding it on there lightly and just letting the sandpaper slowly get rid of all the all gook. Up, oh, my film editor and camera operator wants me to mention what our goal is. Your goal is to have a clear headlight so you can see at night time again. Okay. Instead of a blurry headlight. So we've changed from the 500 grit to the 800 grit. Right now everything looks frosted. That's how they want you to look. If you notice I didn't do over here, that's the reflector. It still reflects good enough for people. I worried about us seeing right now, so. And in the directions, they said use. Oop, yeah, see, I'm, they said put two layers of tape instead of one because you can burn through the first layer of tape. But they also said if your paint is chipping or anything not the used tape because when you pull it off it could cause the chip to get bigger and everything so just be careful keep your pad flat as possible against the headlight and work it Don't do that too many times.
see how we're doing here. It's getting clearer. Looks like we're about back where we first started. <laughs> Kind of crazy. You now you know why like, when you watch the auto repair shows why they put tape on the headlight and they do a little spot to show you the difference. Because I mean this has this bump here and a bump over here and it's, this isn't something that you're gonna do in just a couple minutes if you want it to come out decent. And if you're unsure about doing it, you can always buy a replacement. The problem is replacements for this car are like $500 down to $75 for a used one from a wrecking yard, which you can end up with a clouded one. So, I mean, I don't know. Or you can get an aftermarket. I've seen an aftermarket set on eBay for actually $125, which I seriously was thinking about. It's just, I don't know if they're going to fit good or if you're gonna have to do some cutting of something or sanding or drilling just I don't know it's not OEM so I don't I take it don't really want to take the chance okay so how are we looking here do we have any deep scratches still or well it looks foggy and when you see, you think any of them are the deep scratches, or we're down to the the smoother? Mm. Hey, look, a grid. I don't really see a deep scratch. Grid. It's just a smooth cloud. Smooth cloud. <laughs> All righty then. Oh. Well, uh, we have a smooth cloud, and what do you think? I'm, You're the one I'm blind. Doing, you're the one I've been doing this for forever. I haven't even do this. Yeah, well, it looks good enough to me. Guess they weren't quite as bad as they were the last time. I'm not using hardly any sanding disc, which is good. It's just they were getting blurry, and I could tell the difference. It was hard so to see on that? the road. A5? This, this is a, the Trizic. Which is a 3,000 grit foam disc. Oh, okay. So this is that the finest of all? Yeah. You go from after the 3,000, you're down to your polishing cloth and your rubbing compound. When do you do that? When you have the polishing after cloth? After you do this. Oh, okay. Okay, now I do believe this step is supposed to be done wet let's double check our directions here alrighty so here we are you can see we got a, a light frosted after 800 well, I'm almost wondering if I should 800 a little bit more but we're gonna see what happens we're gonna try our 3000 now and a little water you want to have a, a spray bottle they said with this part they don't want you to have a dry disc.
it's looking it's looking it's looking a little bit all right yeah okay Oh my better. god, I can see the inside. It looked so much better when it was wet, but yeah, you couldn't see the inside earlier, huh? There's a really loud area here. Yeah, that needs some more work before we get to the rubbing compounded. I just want to get it wet and let it dry and see how it does. Look at that. There's an inside! Actually, see in there again, huh? Mm -hmm. Ah, just just looking at this compared to the other side. What a remarkable improvement! <laughs> just by sanding off some layers of crudded up plastic. Alrighty, well, of course they say the better that you do this part, they say, of course, they say that with every part, the better you sand on this section, the better it'll come out for your next section, and so on and so forth, and so forth and so on, but looking pretty good. So then we'll take off our little... 3,000 grit. Are this still usable? Or? Oh yeah, we still have a whole other headlight it has to do. Okay, so we set that off to the side. And I believe our next one is our rubbing, oh, our rubbing compounded. Hey look, it's an osculating one. Since I didn't get it on there very good, it's osculating. Well, better just leave it. The more you pull these things off and put them back on, the more problems you have. Okay. Before we do any of that, let's take a quick gander here. And if you don't want to look at the directions, hit fast forward. Okay, do, 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 proceed to step seven. Alrighty, we opened up our polish. Wait, 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 wait. I need five hands here at this point. Scoop.
Three some out. Three some out, not too much, just some. Okay, whoa. Probably more than was supposed to be needed. Instead of dime size, it looks like I got me a quarter. I got a quarter. Yeah, it's got a lot. Okay, so we'll just Flip it. We'll just smear a little. And then Time that time. Semi clean, a little damp, it's not very wet. Then we'll Ooh. Looks like it's almost brand new. Holy macadamia nuts, look at that. May not be perfect, but looks close enough to new. But you say, I just saved $500. What did what it take? Probably longer than it should. So how much is the kit? Is that brand new? Yeah, the kit I think was like $25 or something on eBay. Or at the parts store. I just didn't want to drive to a parts store. I just wanted it to be delivered. So Actually, I got it a little less than that because I bought a couple of them at, when I bought it. But that looks good. That looks pretty good for an old car. I mean, with chip paint and everything, I think it came out pretty good. Now, what's the final step? That's it. That's it. That's it. There you go. That's what they say. There you go. There you go. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. So all of those oh. things you can still reuse. Yeah, all this you reuse. Your your compound, just fold it down a little bit, put some tape over it, use a paper clip or use a, a clothespin, something to. Right. So then just wipe your residues off of your vehicle. Okay, so now we're gonna try our science project. We're going to work on headlight number two. But for headlight number two, we got headlight protectant, which we can probably add to the headlight that we just did. Because it's a protectant mm -hmm. for UV, which should make the polishing last longer. Yeah, maybe we should do that. So I think we'll be adding that to this. But we got plastics. Clear plastic cleaner and polish. 
So we're gonna try that without all the sanding on the other headlight just to see what it does. Sanding's probably gonna be better to get rid of stuff, but we're just gonna give it a go. Okay, we got our freshly restored headlight over here. As good as it's getting. So that was with the 3M kit, but the 3M kit is gonna leave you at this point where you have no UV protectant. Like when the headlights are brand new, there's a, a UV protectant, a sealant over them. Almost like what you do to granite, you know? Yeah. You put a, a sealant on your granite once a year to keep it clean. So we bought Meguiar's headlight protection. So, we'll take some and... Does that work? Well, I don't have microfiber, so... Yeah, it said do to say microfiber, it said thou. Oh, this is a towel. Oh, hey. Guess what? It's brand new. It probably has a safety seal so people don't squirt it in the store. <laughs> okay. No reason to waste that. Okay, so there we go. I don't know how much you need, so we'll just start off slow. Make sure you don't put it on the painted surface. Yeah. Guess we should have taped everything off. But, you know, with old cars and old paint, you'd... it's a scary thing to do. I'm sure we got a good even amount of this all over the whole thing by now. Right? Yeah. So, okay, we'll stop using that little towelette. It's plastic, not painted. Okay, then we take our, our clean towel. And give it a little buff. Buff, buff, buff. Uh, probably should add this maybe a couple times a year or. It said regularly. Regularly? Is that what it said? Okay, well then. I don't remember. Maybe you would want to wash it or add it every time you wash your car. Yeah, but I and had that container. And, and you, every time you detail your car, maybe that's when you'd want to do it. Use your regularly to maintain. Brilliant appearance. Well, so what means regularly? Regularly would probably be like every time you wash your car. Hmm. You know, if you wash your car regularly, or if if not, yeah, it all depends. Set your own schedule is what you think would be good. Once a month. Once every other month, once a season, who knows? Maybe that's it, huh? That looks brand new! Spanking, Spanking. brand new! I don't think it's ever looked that clean since we bought this car. Yeah, that came out really good. Yeah. Okay, now, I was reading the other one, the Plastex stuff. Mm hmm It sounds like it's pretty much just a rubbing compound. You put it on a phone applicator and rub. So... I, when I was reading it, it had a, a chart here that if your oxidation level yeah. is light, then use the Plastex lens cleaner and polish. That's this. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you have a medium oxidation, 
Then to use the one step headlight restoration kit. Yeah. And if you have heavy grime on it, like our headlights started off, this one was, mm -hmm. then to use their heavy duty headlight restoration this kit. This is similar to so, what we're using yeah. here. So what I'm gonna do with the other headlight is I'm just gonna use the 3M kit. Like we did here. Yeah, and then I'm gonna use the the protectant just like here. I got rubbing compound left in here from 3M, so I'm not even gonna bother using my McGuire stuff yet. I'll just save that for a future 